is in the eye of a storm. Cameron's come under fire for his connections with China. The British Foreign um, Office man has refused to disclose details of his investments in that country. The British Foreign Secretary, should I have said. And the citing grounds of privacy. Now, a leading British publication says that Cameron has significant investments linked to the Chinese-funded Sri Lankan port city of Colombo. Now, along with these, the former Prime Minister has been a frequent guest at Chinese forums, which has raised many an eyebrow back home. Earlier in 2021, David Cameron, along with high-ranking officials from his cabinet and the British bureaucracy, were implicated for lobbying activities on behalf of the financial services company Greenshill Capital. This incident has brought into light concerns regarding leaders' lobbying, which may fall outside the interests of the state. The Foreign Office has been accused of breaking the law by failing to disclose the leaders' potential conflicts of interest regarding China. Despite the UK's Financial Conduct Authority forcing the Foreign Office to issue a timely response, the Office has failed to disclose tangible information. It maintains that doing so would be a violation of Cameron's privacy. The organisation is also facing flack from British media for refusing to respond to multiple Freedom of Information Act requests made by journalists. The British Foreign Secretary and the Foreign Office decision to withhold the information has invited criticism from both sides of the aisle. Earlier in January, Tory politician and founder of the Interparliamentary Alliance on China, or IPAC, Luke de Pulford, accused the new Foreign Secretary of shilling for the UK's biggest security threat. Labour's Shadow Minister for Asia and the Pacific, Catherine West, has also pushed for an inquiry on what role Cameron's played since leaving office in Chinese infrastructure projects in Sri Lanka. The Cameron administration's ties with China are known to have been warm during his tenure as Prime Minister till 2016. In 2015, a state visit by President Xi Jinping not only gave Cameron a chance to take him to his local pub, but also to publicly showcase his positive relationship with Beijing.